Hello everyone, in this video we will present extended finite element method named also XFEM with Abacus software, used specially for simulation of crack failure. XFEM is a numerical technique based on the generalized finite element method, GFEM, and the partition of unity method, PUM. It extends the classical finite element method, FEM, approach by enriching the solution space for solutions to differential equations with discontinuous functions. XFEM was developed in 1999 by Ted Belichko and collaborators, to help alleviate shortcomings of the finite element method and has been used to model the propagation of various discontinuities, strong cracks, and weak material interfaces. The idea behind XFEM is to retain most advantages of mesh-free methods while alleviating their negative sides. Please if you have any additional question or request, contact me in my page Facebook and my email. To start this presentation, we will see four big axes, presentation of XFEM method, after we will see basic XFEM concept, after how to do modeling propagation crack, two distinct types of damage modeling within an XFEM framework, cohesive segment approach, cohesive segments approach embraces both extremes, distributed cracking with crack nucleation, growth and eventual coalescence at multiple locations as well as the initiation and propagation of a single dominant crack without requiring special assumptions. And linear elastic fracture mechanics approach LEFM, first assumes that the material is isotropic and linear elastic. Based on the assumption, the stress field near the crack tip is calculated using the theory of elasticity. When the stresses near the crack tip exceed the material fracture toughness, the crack will grow. Now we move in first axis, introduction XFEM, strong technology exists in abacus, interfacial cracks with VCCT and cohesive element techniques. Smeared crack approach to continuum damage initiation and evolution in the bulk material. Some difficulties exist, modeling and analysis of stationary 3D curved surface cracks. Progressive crack growth simulations for arbitrary 3D crack. So extended, finite element method, XFEM, becomes relatively mature to be commercialized since it was relatively mature to be commercialized since it was 1ST introduced by Belishko and Black in 1999 is used to perform initiation and propagation crack growth. In following pictures, we see the propagation or growth of crack in throat toward a shaft, we can see also that the motion of crack is independently of mesh, XFEM is a better model to simulate this category of problem, its conclusion makes modeling of cracks easier and accurate, allows crack to be modeled independent of the mesh. Allows simulation of initiation and propagation of a discrete crack along an arbitrary, solution-dependent path without the requirement of remeshing supports contour integral evaluation for a stationary. In next picture, we illustrate mesh model used for XFEM, as we discussed in previous slide, this model is a performated independent of mesh motion. In next step, we will discuss some basic concept of XFEM. XFEM is an extension of the conventional finite element method based on the concept of partition of unity, allows the presence of discontinuities in an element by enriching degrees of freedom with special displacement function. The displacement with presence of crack can be expressed sum of three term, nodal displacement vector, nodal enriched degree of freedom vector with jump function and nodal enriched degree of freedom vector with asymptotic crack tip functions.
In following picture we illustrate the projection of three essential element of displacement in real model. The second Kogneft is level set method. Level set method is a numerical technique for describing a crack and tracking the motion of the crack of the crack couples naturally with XFEM and makes possible the modeling of 3D arbitrary crack growth without remeshing requires two level sets for a crack. The first describes the crack surface, phi phi, the second, psi, psi, is constructed so that the intersection of two level sets gives the crack front uses signed distance functions to describe the crack geometry. No explicit representation of the crack crack is needed and the crack is entirely described by nodal data. To calculate two parameter phi and psi as mentioned in picture, the nodal value of the function is the signed distance of the node from the crack face positive value on one side of the crack face, negative on the other. The nodal value of the function psi is the signed distance of the node from an almost orthogonal surface passing through the crack front. The function psi has zero value on this surface and is negative on the side towards the crack. How modeling stationary crack? To get answer of this question we use a very important concept using of crack simulation such as full enrichment. Different forms of asymptotic crack tip functions are needed depending on crack location and the extent of the inelastic material deformation. Currently only asymptotic crack tip fields corresponding to an isotropic. Currently only asymptotic crack tip fields corresponding to an isotropic elastic material are considered can be extended. The displacement is discoid is given by next formulate. For isotropic elasticity, the asymptotic crack tip function is given by following formulate.
In next step, we will see contour integral with residual stress field. The residual stress field can now be taken into account based on either the residual stress field can now be taken into account based on either the conventional finite element method or XFEM. Some use cases, drivers, a residual stress field can be resulted from service loads that produce plasticity, a metal, forming process in the absence of an anneal treatment, thermal effects, or swelling effects. The standard definition of the contour integral may lead to a path-dependent value when the residual stresses are significant, an additional term due to the residual stress field is now included to ensure the path independence of contour integral. Two distinct types of damage modeling within an XFEM framework, cohesive segments approach and linear elastic fracture. For cohesive segment approach, uses traction separation laws follows the general framework for surface-based cohesive behavior damage properties are specified as part of the bulk material definition. For LEFM-based approach, uses the virtual crack closure technique, VCCT. VCCT for XFEM uses the same principles as in VCCT for interfacial debonding damage properties are specified via an interaction property assigned to the XFEM Crace Mechanics LEFM approach. For cohesive damage initiation criteria, three stress-based and three strain-based damage initiation criteria are readily available, maximum principal stress MAXPS, and maximum principal strain MAXPE, maximum nominal stress maxes, and maximum nominal strain MAXE, quadratic nominal stress quads, and quadratic nominal strain quade. crack initiation bases on the stress-strain value at the center of enriched elements. Maximum principal stress MAXPS, and maximum principal strain MAXPE, criteria initiation occurs when the maximum principal stress or strain reaches a critical value, F equals 1. Crack plane is solution dependent, perpendicular to the direction of the maximum principal stress, or strain. Can handle a changing crack plane and crack propagation direction. In next picture we illustrate input parameter in Abacus software for maximum principal stress MAXPS and maximum principal strain MAXPE damage criteria.
for maximum nominal stress maxes, and maximum nominal strain MAXE, criteria initiation occurs when the maximum nominal stress or strain reaches a critical value. The damage initiation criterion is satisfied when 1.0 is less than or equal to F is less than or equal to 1.0 F tollware FTOL is a user-specified tolerance value, default is 0.05, similar to the criterion used in conjunction with element-based, cohesive behavior. User may specify a local material direction as the crack plane normal. For quadratic nominal stress quads, and quadratic nominal strain quade, similarities with maxes and MAXPE, user selects the crack plane normal. User specifies critical values of normal and shear stresses strains. User interface in Abacus, CAE similar to that of MAXS, MAXE. For damage evolution, any of the damage evolution models for traction separation laws can be used, based on energy or displacement. However, it is not necessary to specify the undamaged traction separation response. For damage stabilization, fracture makes the structural response non-linear and non-smooth. Numerical methods have difficulty converging to a solution. Use viscous regularization helps with the convergence of the Newton method. The stabilization value must be chosen so that the problem definition does not change. A small value regularizes the analysis, helping with convergence while having a minimal effect on the response. Perform a parametric study to choose appropriate value for a class of problems. For second method of propagation cracks, linear elastic fracture mechanics approach LEFM, phantom nodes and linear elastic fracture mechanics, more appropriate for brittle fracture. Strain energy release rate at the crack tip is calculated based on the modified virtual crack closure technique BCCT. Following this method, we can get the strain energy by superposition of demi vitual crack in bottom and top PF crack as shown in bellow picture. Linear elastic fracture mechanics in an XFEM framework, a critical strain energy release rate criterion based on the virtual crack closure technique BCCT. Specified as an interaction property in association with an XFEM crack. Three mode mix formulae available, the BK law, the power law, and the reader law models. 
User can specify the crack plane normal direction. The maximum tangential stress MTS direction is used as the default normal direction for the crack plane can choose local one or two directions. Although VCCT requires a crack to calculate the energy release rate, the LEFM approach can be used when no initial crack is present. Specify damage initiation in the material property definition. VCCT becomes active when damage initiation criteria are met. In following picture we illustrate linear elastic fracture mechanics with power law used in abacus software, three model of strain energy rate are required with exponent coefficients. Thank you for your attention, if you have any question, or any request, please contact me in my email and my Facebook page, and stay safe.